Slate boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about dimensions, because I see it's a misconception about dimensions. Now, I want you to know, God gave you the power, and everybody the power, to be able to be in all these dimensions. Now, fears of realities and, and certain things like that, there's, there's thousands of those. But when we talk about when we talk about uh, dimensions, there's only nine dimensions. Now, with this right here, there's nobody going to be able to debunk this either. You know what I'm saying? For all you scientists and all that. Now, like I, I explained to you, anything that we know in existence that has something added to it or weight added to it, it adds density, right? So when, when something has density, it adds weight, it goes down, right? Right? Now, keep that in mind. So when we talk about dimensions, I'm going to, before we talk about the nine dimensions, I want to talk I want to tell you how God created dimensions in the first place. Now, before you say, "Oh, he's going to tell us something about God." Erase your perception about what you think about how anybody else will look at God or whatever. No, you don't we're not getting there yet. I'm not changing your real. That's a whole other video. Now, dimensions, how dimensions came into existence in the first place. You know what I'm saying? We know how scientists scripture out. It comes from a point and a line. So we know a zero is just space. We know the point is a point of reference. We know that's the singularity now. Now we know the uh, the line creates duality. Now the line is duality, right? Now that's this space experiencing more space. You know what I'm saying? Within this degree. You know what I'm saying? Now that's duality. Now um, to bring itself dense, how God brought itself dense, and then once it did the duality, you know what I'm saying, like breathe life or went in, entered, I-N-E-N, and went into something, whatever, like that, this is without, this is within, this yang, yang, whatever. Mm. Another video. Now, when it did that sequence, now it's, it's consciously aware of its own surrounding, of its own space, right? So, that sequence did that in itself again three times. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we got this dimension from this dimension. But we know when you do something again, that means you have to add. You're not subtracting, you add it. So that means that adds density. So that same space did it again, brought it down with even more space. See what I'm saying? So now we have this dimension and this dimension. And once that did that in itself, that became that dimension, that dimension, 2 plus 2 plus 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. You see what I'm saying? But to you, the, the human mind can only understand it as having more space. But I'm trying to tell you where dimensions come from. So if you're a regular human, a regular scientist, and you're trying to say, but this mathematical or whatever like that, I'm, letting you write, I'm trying to tell you how to understand it right now. So start working on that. Now, when you, when you want to bring down, that's dimensions. And when you want to try to break it down scientifically, that's why you can't really understand it because you're not understanding the concept of dimensions. This is how we brought down to this dimension. This is how God made himself dense by doing those first three sequences from the zero to God created the first of that from the zero. That's just space, right? Space. Space experience and isolation, right? Now it's, now it's, it needs to. It need. It made more space or more room. But from this point of view of the space, is make is going into another space, making more space, more viewpoints. That's duality, right? Then the, just that sequence alone makes this space third person. Now, when it's per third person, it, it becomes aware of its own space because it now it knows it's canceled out automatically, and it knows it has this space to go into and it's this, this space to go into. But it's still all of the same space. You see what I'm saying? But when it does that again those two three sequences it does that again then that brings it down into a, a, another etheric density then it does that again now we got 3d you know what i'm saying now we got the 3d perspective right now we got 3d perspective and the space is just wide enough for it to have separate spaces so now this is why you're able to have your own space but we're talking about dimensions right now that's another video now when we talk about uh because it's, it's space within space but as a human, you only can see it as more space. You're in space. See, you're within see, You're within the space, see? Another video. Now, when we talk about dimensions, right? Now, when we get to the fourth dimension, we know, we know the third dimension is third person. Now, zero is space. First is singularity. Two is duality. Three is third person, automatically, because it sets itself out. It's third person. Scientists can't argue that. Now, let's talk about the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is becoming the judge. It's almost becoming the judge of the space you're in. Be becoming a judge. Stay with me. Five, becoming the authority. 
See? That that's the second level of density that this realm of reality went through. Then then um then it go to six, becoming the judge. I mean not the uh the judge yeah, becoming the um hold on, I wrote that down. Not the judge, but it's becoming becoming the third person. Sorry about that, it's becoming the third person. So you got four, becoming a judge, five, becoming an authority, six, becoming a third person. Remind you. The sequence of events, notice how every time we get to the middle number, remember, we ain't talking about it as in numbers. We're just talking about the, the second number next to the singularity. So look, from zero, space, from one, singularity, right? From two is duality, right? Three is third person, right? Then it starts over again in another dimension, right? Because it do it again in itself. Four is becoming the judge, right? That's another single. Uh, five, becoming authority. That's when you have to set out to see how it, it affect the surroundings, affect others, then uh, six, becoming third person. Now, you became this third person of what you was initially was, but you once it added, that's like adding in this dimension. So it, that's the second dimension, which is four, five, six, but to this being, that's just one. So that's the, that's the second, then we get to the, the, the third, and this is why we're able to have 3D. It does that again in itself. And then it's six, um, I mean, then it's seven. Seven is utilizing your authority. Eight is utilizing its time. And nine is utilizing utilizing the experience of being third person. So then that made this, that made God dense. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm trying to say? Anybody who got it, I don't care if you're religious, scientist, or whatever, you understand what I'm talking about. Now, um, now that it's dense, this is how, this is where 3D come from, right? So now, the, three, the third dimension. Now it spreads off into many other things. Now, the fourth dimension, now, I'm gonna tell you how to look at the fourth dimension, but now that you know the dimensions, right? The, the uh, experiencing being third person. We know it came from eight because it, it had to take the time, the time to experience it takes time, right? So if eight time was dealt with affinity and everything, when we get to nine, that, that means it has enough wisdom. It has the time to experience something to have wisdom and knowledge about something. So now you it became nine is, be, um, Utilizing being third person, it knows it knows it it, it first the, when it when it got to three initially it's I am when it got to six it it became the I am okay now it, it knows it knows I I am then when it got to nine which is just in this guy of mine is just the third trail it it utilized the I am it start utilizing the experience of being I am it it, it been knowing I am then it go through the cycle again which is uh birth, life, death. You know what I'm saying? And this is how that came about. This is how those beings came about. Birth, life, death. And the energy you give these it, and the constructs and that's how they manifest and the more energy you give it, that's the bigger the orb it get and it's able to manifest into reality. And you and we make things dense. I need you to know that. But God originally, all this came from God. Now, I'm going to break down how you look at every dimension because you have the access to all these dimensions also. Now, the zero dimension is the space. So we all have that because we all have our own space. You have your own space in the three realms, which is the, uh, the your solid liquid, and, uh, your solid liquid and gas form, your your time, space and matter form. You know what I'm saying? Your 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 spirit, solid and uh, fluid form. You know what I'm saying? You you have that. So you have your space in all these realms. So you have a three, which is one, which is a being. So that that lets you know you're alive in all these realms, in different realms of realities and dimensions. Now, when we get to one singularity, you're born. You're you're uh, you're here now. Uh, you're you're the you're singularity. You know you you the I am. So, when a person is being selfish or a lot of uh, being selfish in their life, they're playing in the first dimension. That's how. That's the only way you're supposed to look at it. Don't let nobody creep you out about it. You're playing. So when you're only thinking about yourself or only doing things that's pertaining to yourself, this is why a lot of uh, people who are the number one numerology sign are selfish or things that's predicated toward the self. You know what I'm saying? Or when they grow in their life, they're here to be selfless. So they have to get to that level, right? Two, duality. Now, everything, this is the construction of yin and yang and all that other stuff and evil, however you want to, whatever program you in, this is where it construct. But two is duality. Now, this is being able to relate, being able to, uh, when, you're, when, you're, uh, a per when you're relating to someone or something 
or something and something else make you feel away and and you take it into yourself to put out an energy to make that feel a certain way whether you whether y'all guys are exchanging love or hate or whatever whatever you're exchanging uh, for a given receive process that's duality that's where our position all comes see the zero one and two all this these are powerful things you know what i'm saying um that's do that's when you're working in the dimension of duality so that's the second dimension you're you're working in the second dimension right now the third dimension is um uh becoming third person so now now you're able, when, when you're in life situations where you can set yourself out of the situation to see the situation for what it is and look at it in third person, you're working in the third dimension. And you do, we can, we're able to do that physically by looking all around us. The, the simple fact that you can do a circle lets you know that that's the physical manifestation and density of you being able to experience third person in the yang realm. But in the yin realm, it's setting yourself out of the situation, and and looking at and, and looking at which is like this space experience in those, its own space. You, we all got the power. You with me? So when you, anytime you're in a situation when you have to set yourself, say say you say you at a job, right? And um, somebody pissing you off, right? And but you know you got to go to work. You know, so you you're, you're not gonna slap this person when you go there, right? So you're, you're looking at the outside of the situation because you know at slapping them you could get fired. So you know you need your job so you're going to go to work and not. You're orchestrating your actions, your one and two from a, a third perspective. God gave you that power. So that's, you're working in the third realm. That's the third realm. See, see what I'm saying? That's the third dimension. The third dimension, not realm. There's a lot of realms of realities, but that's the third dimension. Now, how you look at the fourth dimension? The fourth dimension is now becoming the judge. So now you're becoming the judge of the third person. This is the whole reason why humans think that they can become their own judge and they're not a judge out there. But I'm telling you how, how it trickled down and how he may not give a fuck about what you think should be judged or not. See, the fourth dimension is when a, we all do fourth dimension. We all, anytime you in a situation where you... Um, you do an action based upon the outlook of it, the outlook of it. Like I said, third person, third dimension is just basically seeing things from an outer point of view. That's it. That's third dimension. And, and we can do that physically, but by doing a, a circle, a 360. But fourth dimension ain't physical anymore. So it's actually the experience of being a third person now. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when you're in the fourth dimension, it's it's dictating your actions, your first, your being based upon the outlook of a situation. That's that's the fourth dimension. So anytime we all do it, don't let nobody spook you out about this shit. Anytime you're in the fourth dimension is when you do this. Anytime you're in a situation where, like I said, if you go to work and you don't slap that person, say that person pissing you off, when you you know if you slap that person, you're gonna get fired, right? So the outlook of the situation is you need that job and you don't need to get fired. So you set yourself out from now. We move from the third dimension into the fourth dimension. Now you telling yourself. When I go to work, I'm not going to slap this person. And so when you go to work and you actually didn't slap that person for the sake of that situation, that's how that's how you in the fourth dimension. That's when you work in the fourth dimension. So that's the fourth dimension. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody else tell you anything else. I'm not change your Uriel. You see what I'm saying? So um, that's the fourth dimension. So anytime you dictate your life situations based upon... Anytime you dictate your actions based upon the situation as a whole, that's fourth dimension. God gave you all these powers. Now, the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is becoming the authority. Now, see, they all work simultaneously at one. Like, you're doing them all at the same time. Now, so, now that you know what you're doing, you can get on a better path and lighten your load so your spirit can go up, not down. See what I'm saying? And dissipate. Another video. See, now, the fifth dimension is becoming an authority of the judge so for an example for an example anytime you're in a situation where you're dictating the outcome of that action like for an example when you went when you went to work right and you said if i slap this person um, um i'm not that's third that's third that's from the third dimension in the fourth dimension you actually put that into action you didn't slap that person for the sake of you getting fired that's the that's the fourth dimension so the the fifth dimension is knowing that you wasn't going to get fired knowing that you wasn't going to get fired 
for not slapping that person. You you knew F, you knew the outcome. So when you went put when you went and put four into action and you didn't slap that person, right? So at the end of the day, you didn't get fired because you didn't do nothing to get fired. Now, fifth dimension is knowing that you was gonna have that outcome, right? So knowing outcomes, it's like knowing the D self, knowing the I am. That's that's uh six. That's the sixth dimension. That's when you're in the sixth dimension. See what I'm saying? That's when you're working through the sixth dimension. All right, now we finna get to the last three, the, the, the three highest. Now, the seventh dimension. The seventh, the seventh dimension, when you utilize that, that's utilizing your authority. So now that you have a, you have a, um, a pattern, which took time, now that you have a pattern of situations and their outcomes and how things that they can do now, now you play on that. Like, you know you're good at this, and you know you can get the job, so you know if you go for that job, you know you're going to get the job. You, you see how it's a, it's a dimension thing. You see how I go in, within, within, within itself? You know what I'm saying? So, that's seven, utilizing. So, if you're, if you're good at something, you're owning it, now you're going to utilize your, you're utilizing your authority. You're going to, you, since you know you can sing, you know if you go sing for somebody, you know the outcome is most likely you're going to get signed, which is coming from three dimension, four dimension, five dimension, six dimension. Now, you know if you put that to test, you know the overall outcome you can get signed that's the seventh dimension utilizing your authority utilizing your talents utilizing your gifts so if God had a gift he, he's utilizing it when it come in a density in the, in the third dimensional realm so anytime you enter religion or anything else that's what they're actually pointing to it's just the names of that they give it and all kind of stuff may be off but everything is pointing to truth see truth is in everything it's just everything ain't truth now the eighth dimension the eighth dimension is time it's time. So you're doing all this and it has no choice but to go into time. So this this goes in, is you going to do this forever or not forever? It's like it's like a duality. It's the in-between again. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's still a duality on a higher dimension. So see, remember how I said every middle number out of these three sequences? So don't even look at them like numbers. This is just the second sequence of of from the seven, eight, nine, you know what I'm saying? See they all, how they all deal with duality, how all the first numbers deal with the I am, how all the third numbers is kind of like seeing it from a third person. You see what I'm saying? But just on a dimension level, but eight dealing with time, right? So it's utilizing your time as this, whatever situation you're in as a human, but as God is this, however, being God. Now, just being. Now, when you get to uh, nine, nine is utilizing your experience of third person so now see humans ain't getting there yet but how God see it is you see how I got brought down to density and then brought back to up at the one as the light now nine is utilizing your uh, utilizing your experience because you got the experience from the time from eight so now anytime you you utilizing uh, you utilize your you always do eight everybody use their time to do stuff you know what I'm saying you have to you can't learn something without taking time to learn it. You can't experience something without having time to experience. So that's eight. So we're all in the eight dimension also. So you have to utilize your time right. You know what I'm saying? And, and did, I, did I explain the seventh dimension? Yeah, any time. And now the ninth dimension. I'm going to explain how you utilize the ninth dimension. The ninth dimension is like becoming whole, becoming complete, but utilizing your experience of the third person. Being able to tell others or tell everyone the experience or the experience of the whole travel like the wisdom this is why a lot of number nine people feel like they have to teach they a lot of number nine people on earth uh in numerology be preachers or teachers or um you know what i'm saying or, or in some type of studies you know what i'm saying where they can teach other people and philosophers and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because they feel like they experience the, the sequence of three on and on and on and it is doing the third sequence again from the highest dimension you see what I'm saying? So that's why the the nine and the zero and the one is the same thing, and that's why the three six nine isn't a number, but it was constructed out of the same thing. Which the nines, the the, the initial nine, when you cancel that out, and it's the zero itself, it just comes back to space. Flight boss, bitch, you know for sure. Goddamn, Archangel Uriel.